On this slide, I talk about x-ray absorption as another example of how this can be relevant to you and maybe good for a, 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 an essay topic. So here we're in the x-ray spectrum. So x-rays, this plot shows energy. So energy is getting larger this way. Remember up here in this spectrum, the wavelength is getting larger this way. So the x, the, the x scale on this is flipped compared to how this spectrum works. So high energy x-rays over here, low energy x-rays over here. And again, we have attenuation over here. So what this says is for very high energies, since the attenuation is low, that means the, the x-rays will go a long distance through the material without being absorbed. Now the interesting thing is, there are three different lines drawn in this graph. One is for water. So you can see that water goes quite far through. And then as you get lower and lower in energy, the water absorbs the light, the x-rays, in a shorter and shorter distance. The same is true for bone, and the same is true for pure calcium. Now the interesting thing is, if you pick a wavelength or an energy, let's say in that area. So if you picked one in this area, and you shown x-rays on a body, anything that's mostly made of water, most of the x-ray is going to go through. Some of it will be attenuated, and so it won't come through. But if you pass through bone, so if the x-ray passes through bone, much more of the, uh, the x-ray will be attenuated. So this is how they take x-rays. You, know, you, you choose a good wavelength, and then the light that does not pass through a bone goes right through. So you can put, you know, the, the used to be a piece of film. Now it's a, an x-ray detector on one side. If I shine x-rays through a material, then if it doesn't pass through bone, most of it is going to go right through to your, uh, your imaging device here. If it does pass through bone, the x-rays will get absorbed. And so you can see the contrast then on the imager. So that's an example just of x-rays. This holds true for any wavelength of light, for any energy.